Hey, Nook Knights, it's Nook, and I'm going to be casting Bogus versus Firebat Hero, an ace match in the Pro League between SDX Soul and Air Force Ace. And I've been hearing some good things about this game. This is one that I wouldn't normally cast because, well, A, I don't know much about Bogus, so I can't say much about him inside the game, and B, I haven't cast a Firebat Hero game in years? It feels like it's been a very long time. So this is not one that I would normally cast, but everyone's been sending me messages like, Nuke, you have to do this game, you have to do it! And I think the main reason I'm going to cast it is just morbid curiosity. I look at the names of the players like, Bogus vs. Firebat Hero, huh? Okay... Whatever you say, Grandpa, patting you on the head. <laughs> Except... Down at the 8 o'clock position, and blue is Bogus, playing for STX. That means down at the 5 o'clock position in yellow is Firebat Hero, who has not been playing consistently well for many, many years. In fact, I think it might have been when I started commentating that he started to go downhill. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. It's all my fault. Happened on my watch, damn it. Not another pro gamer slides on my watch, except for the ones I don't really care for. They can slump, I don't care. <laughs> But we're about to find out if everyone's a huge collective liar. And if you guys are lying to me about this game being epic, I, I am never going to forgive you, ever. I'm going to stop commentating if this game is not epic. Oh yeah, throwing it all on the line. But <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm expecting this to be pretty awesome. So I'm going to tell you what I do know about these players. Bogus, I have very limited knowledge, and I've casted Firebat Hero games before, but it's been a very very long time. So Bogus is becoming STX's go-to Terran guy. They're trying to hone him in, kind of sand him down, whatever kind of metaphor you can throw in there, to become their go-to STX Terran. Because they got Frozean from a trade from Samsung Khan. They got Frozean, and frozean has been playing pretty good. Um, he was kind of their go-to Terran for a while there. Uh, by the way, Bogus is building his barracks in the middle of the map. I don't think this is going to be cheesy or anything. I think he's just going to use that barracks to float over and act as a very large overlord with a lot of hit points. But as I said, Frozean was not really picking up enough slack as the Terran player for STX. So they've been refining Bogus, um, turning him into a very good Terran player. He's starting to become a very good Terran player, and that's why they're throwing him out for the ace match trying to refine his skills, get him used to the high-pressure situation. So that's what I know about Bogus, as I said, very limited. But Firebat Hero I know quite a bit about, because when I started commentating, he was one of my favorite players, and he started going consistently downhill, playing worse and worse, and it was kind of bad. Kind of bad. Now, normally, when players play bad, and their team stops sending them out because they're focusing on other Terrans, and they move to Ace that's when they see a boost in their play. Uh, looking at players like Ruby, but of course Ruby was pretty good before he went on the ace, but he just rocked it on ace. He almost made it to an OSO round of 16. And looking at uh, Gamo is another good example. Play, he's just rocking it on ace right now, and he was never able to do that on Oz. He was always in Jadong's shadow, and he could never really live up to Jadong, and I think that kind of hampered his play, tempered his play. But Firebat Hero, he hasn't seen that same boost in his play yet. He's won some games, obviously, some pretty good games. But he hasn't really lived up to the same old, awesome, creative Firebat Hero play that we're used to. He used to be a TVT monster, and he's only really shown that recently in a game that I didn't watch, but I read a little bit about, which was Firebat Hero vs. Mind. Firebat Hero apparently did very good in that game, almost lost it, but ended up coming back with nukes. I think he used nukes. I was like, oh, shit. oh, crap. I hope we see nukes in this game, too. Almost did a uh, cursing there, which I don't no normally do in my guess. But the command center being built over on Bogus's side. Actually, both command centers are coming up for both players. This is Beltway. It's a new map, four-player map for the Pro League, so there's a lot of space out there. Um, so the rush dis distances are pretty long, so both players feel very confident in building their command centers out. While they have vultures out to defend as well. Oh man, let the games begin. Looks like this game is getting ready to heat up with some vulture micro outside of Bogus' natural expansion. Let's see if Firebat Hero can get 
anything done. Nope, deciding to fall back. And he can't fall back, actually. He's got to get out of range of that vulture before he can run away. It looks like he managed to do so. So he's going to run back to his base. But I'm pumped for this game. I splashed cold water on my face before this game just to get myself pumped up, ready to go. In fact, you can thank your sponsor for this commentary, which is Cadbury Cream Eggs. Because I went to the store, I, I saw Cadbury Cream Eggs, I went, Cream Eggs! Took them home, ate two of them, and that sugar rush is the only thing that's keeping me awake right now, honestly. So thank you, Cadbury. Everyone go buy Cream Eggs uh, in 11 months when they become available again. <laughs> so remember this commentary 11 months from now. <laughs> wow. So, okay. Two factories coming up for Firebat Hero on this side. Armory as well. Going to work on those upgrades and the academy for the scan. Now, the barracks are in for both players. Both are going to have burning down barracks soon as there are a couple of marines on either side. But the starport is up for Bogus I saw over there. He's going for the starport instead of the armory for the ground upgrades. So we're going to see more of a ground-based... Uh, thing from Firebat Hero as wraiths are coming out now for Bogus. He's going to try to get a little bit of harassment done with these wraiths or at least uh, get this barracks away. He's going straight for the barracks so I think he's just going to focus on the barracks, take down the barracks and block Firebat Hero from building more factories. And this is kind of a crucial time in this game because this is the time in the game that Firebat Hero is going to want to build more factories. So if he wants to build those soon he's probably going to have to start rebuilding his barracks which is going to cost him a lot of minerals, but hey, got to get there, got to get to those extra factories and build those four. And he's coming in with an SCV to repair, but he hasn't stopped the barracks at all, so the SCV got creeping behind. Get back here, Mr. Barracks. And the barracks goes down, this stupid SCV. Just kind of lagging behind. God, you moron. And of course, I guess the SCVs get minimum wage. They're not... They, they didn't go to Harvard or anything. But the barracks being rebuilt over uh, in Firebat Hero's base. And Firebat Hero has built a single Goliath that I see to fend off just his first Wraith. I don't see any additional Wraiths being pumped by Bogus. So I don't think Firebat Hero is going to have to worry too much more about Wraith harassment behind his bases or anything. Bogus is going straight for the front, building additional factories, which Firebat Hero cannot do now because he has to rebuild his barracks. So that is going to put Firebat Hero behind as Bogus establishes a defensive perimeter inside of uh, the middle. But the, bo both of the tank lines are very close, but I doubt they're going to, yeah, they're not within range of hitting each other. And uh, Bogus does have the advantage here because he has the Wraith for vision. So if Firebat Hero wants to sneak closer, by the way, finally building extra factories because he got his barracks up. But if Firebat Hero wants to sneak up and get the vision, it's going to be hard to outrange uh, Bogus's field of vision with that Wraith. That Wraith is going to play into this heavily, not to mention the barracks that is already out there. Uh, the barracks might be sniped by the single Goliath. or come the tanks and within range, so I think... Oh man, Firebat Hero scans at just the right time though to try to ta tackle these tanks. And uh, Firebat Hero actually gets lucky and takes down two of the tanks that were in that line. But losing all of his own tanks. In the meantime, Firebat Hero getting within range here with the Goliath. Snipes the Wraith and takes out all of the tanks. That was a nice micro from Firebat Hero actually. Um, to focus in, take those down. And now he's keeping Bogus away from his base, at least for the time being. But Bogus is going to have more tanks than Firebat Hero. In fact, he has two to the one. Now another scan. A big tank battle in the middle of the map now as Vulture's trying to come in and draw the fire from Firebat Hero, but he is not falling for it. it. Instead, focusing in on the tank with his micro. Both tanks go down the exact same time, and the armies are gone for both players basically in the middle. At least the tank armies are, so we're not going to be seeing a siege war for a limited amount of time. But finally, the barracks going down for Bogus. But Bogus already got four factories down. He got his four factories. Uh, so he's not going to be able to build any more factories for a long time. But he probably wouldn't have been working on that until his third base came up anyway. So all right. We're seeing still some aggressive play in the middle. Firebat Hero is working his way towards the natural expansion from Bogus. And Bogus is going to have to siege up, hold his ground, and play defensively uh, to keep Firebat Hero away. 
because Firebite Hero kind of smells the blood in the water. He's like, okay, I killed a lot of tanks there. We both lost about the same number of troops, so I can push my luck a little bit, push it closer to the natural, and go out there to expand at the same time. Bogus is kind of anticipating Firebite Hero expanding, going over there to the 3 o'clock position with a grouping of vultures, but not finding anything, so he's kind of getting out of there, laying some rogue mines. And Firebite Hero is building a turret at the 6 o'clock position, which makes me think he's going to try to build something there. But now the vultures coming in, doing the harassment of the natural expansion as there are vultures being dropped inside of Firebite Hero's main as well, dropping mines. Luckily for Firebite Hero, I think he does have a... Uh, turret in there, but he's uh, sniping these mines just blindly, blindly sniping the mines. So he must know about them. Yeah, he got rid of the mine, and I don't think a mine dragged into either of those tanks. So he's okay as far as that goes. And now Bogus is going to try to break through the defensive line that Fireby Hero has. He might have uh, underestimated the amount of tanks that Fireby Hero has, but no, getting close with those vultures, dragging the mines. Some nice play from Bogus there. That makes up for uh, the micro war earlier that Firebat Hero basically won, even though it kind of ended up with even number of troops. Uh, but yeah, that was excellent, excellent play from Bogus, and now it looks like Firebat Hero is going to be on the defensive over at his natural. No telling how many SCVs he lost. Oh, mines being sniped. So close to dragging into those <laughs> tanks, but. Yeah, as I said, no telling how many SCVs went down. It doesn't look like there's much saturation at that natural f for uh, Firebat Hero. And Firebat Hero is just now building a starport, it seems. Uh, hasn't even uh, built that yet. And probably mostly to get towards his science facility, get start getting more upgrades um, uh, for his ground troops. But, okay, uh, 9 o'clock position coming up now for Bogus. So Bogus is more economically focused now that he has a lot of tanks in the middle. Scanning, going, getting within range of these tanks, getting as close as he possibly can, but he's clumped up his tanks quite a bit. Firebat Hero got to focus with these tanks. Focus, get the splash damage. And the reinforcements from Firebat Hero coming in as well, but uh, mines being dragged everywhere from Bogus. Bogus got some nice mine drags there, but he's not going to take this engagement. Nope, did not take the engagement, but he got a lot of damage done anyway. Especially going in with the vultures as he did, getting up close and personal to those tanks, dragging the mines. That's exactly what he needs to do in the next engagement in the middle of the map. Oh, more wraiths. Cloaked wraiths are being pumped from Bogus, so he's going uh, kind of a tech switch. Although he's probably still just pumping from that one single starport. But still, uh, Firebat Hero is not going to anticipate this unless he saw the cloaked rays uh, sniping his units, saw the little glitch on the map sniping his units. But I have a feeling that Firebat Hero... Okay, Firebat Hero takes out the SCV that was building that 9 o'clock base, so it's going to be a longer period of time before Bogus can take that base. I think he's uh, sending an SCV up very quickly, though, and to get straight to that. But the science facility is up, which means extra upgrades for Firebat Hero. I think he's probably going to put down his second armory soon uh, to strengthen his ground army. Now... Let's see how many factories each of the guys has. I think Bogus had about five factories, a couple with machine shops, but I haven't seen a Firebat Hero's army in a while. I mean, his main in a while. But Firebat Hero, I think, has a 6 o'clock base running now. I saw that he was building that early. Valkyrie from Firebat Hero deciding that the wraiths are a very big threat that need to be dealt with that needs to be dealt with very effectively by the Valkyries. Valkyries are extremely good against Wraiths. Of course, you have to be able to scan before the Wraiths sneak in, snipe that Valkyrie. So we're going to see a pretty intense air battle uh, pretty soon. So Firebat Hero trying to... He does have a nice uh, tank line right through the middle of the map, but he could lose it very quickly once the Cloaked Wraiths come in. The Cloaked Wraiths, sniping of the tanks, but a uh, scan, which means that, yeah, there was a uh, Goliath in, but the Valkyrie has not come into play yet for Firebat Hero. He needs to get that into the middle where he can sneak up on these Wraiths, find the Wraiths, and take them down with that Valkyrie splash damage. Did I say Valkyrie? I think I did. Vulcan Valkyrie. But the Goliath's getting there a little bit too late. Another tank sniped by Bogus. Another tank being sniped. So the defensive line for Firebat Hero weakening in the middle of the map. This is not looking good for his tank line, but he does still have a pretty healthy, sizable amount of troops holding that middle. 
as you can see from the mini map, you can just look at the mini map to see who is holding the middle, and that is Firebat Hero getting nice minefields around. He has uh, vultures going everywhere, getting ready to try to harass that 9 o'clock position if he can get by this other vulture troop. So Firebat Hero trying his best to snipe the mines. I think he might have done a scan or something uh, to snipe those mines with the vultures. Of course, the vultures not going to not going to be worried too much about the mines. But let's see. Firebat Hero was thinking about taking that three o'clock position, but he kind of runs away, seeing that there's a vulture still there. Two Valkyries being built now, but he hasn't revealed them yet. So I think he's trying to play mind games with Bogus, make him build more Val um, uh, not Valkyries, but wraiths get a very strong wraith army out in the air and then attack with two valkyries at once get a huge splash attack to take that down could work out great could get completely sniped as i said earlier the wraiths cloak wraiths could just sneak in snipe the valkyries and just run away like the freaking paper airplane bastards they are but all right bogus steadily trying to retake this middle he has a tank on the high ground that's very smart actually uh, beltway has a very strange um inner placed uh, base but anyway they were seeing a huge battle up near the 12 o'clock position actually right in the middle as bogus is pushing himself forward has plenty of siege tanks there to grind down this mostly vulture army as i said most of the tanks were sniped earlier so firebat hero's got to work on rebuilding those he has plenty of factories to do it though so the the engineering bay just floating around trying to get the scout and firebat hero building two additional bases as is bogus bogus is bogus is building at the 10 o'clock and he already has obviously that nine o'clock base going so firebat hero is going to try to take three o'clock and the two o'clock at the same time and retake the middle it's going to be very tricky bogus has kind of dug himself into the middle with a very impressive tank line not only that but he's surrounding these tanks going to drag mines into these tanks but firebat hero he's got to focus in on the mines with that siege mode but Firebat Hero has the same idea, actually, getting up close and personal with those tanks, dragging the mines. But it wasn't enough. That huge grouping of tanks, I thought for sure it was going to go down from that one dragged mine. But also some nice uh, tank play, actually, from both players in the middle. Some nice scan, knowing, knowing exactly where to put those tanks within siege range of the other tanks. Uh, but to keep out of vision of the normally unscannable... Ah, just awesome. Awesome, Micro! Okay, we're seeing a tr uh, tra transfer of SCVs over to the <laughs> 3 o'clock position now. By Firebat Hero, watch out! Firebat Hero finally scans, getting rid of the pesky mines in the middle of the map. Now it seems that Bogus has found uh, out about those vultures that were harassing the 10 o'clock, keeping that from coming out. But Valkyrie's all over the place for Firebat Hero. What is Firebat Hero's plan now? He has not revealed these Valkyries yet, and unless Bogus has scanned that starport, which is actually pretty unlikely... He's, not, he's definitely not going to know this is coming. This is going to be insane if he does commit more to Wraiths. So Firebat Hero is making a tremendous gamble, uh, <laughs> rolling the dice, thinking that Bogus is going to transition into a big air army. But this is a dice roll because he does not know that is exactly what Bogus's plan is going to be. So it's going to be very interesting to see if those Valkyries will be worth anything. But of course, they c they will have multiple uses. They'll be able to take down big clumps of, okay, it looks like Firebat Hero is coming in, going to reveal these Valkyries soon. But as I said, it could take down clumps of dropships, take down, obviously, a big grouping of wraiths. And if we get into battle cruisers, which is coming up soon, we're seeing the entire map basically being taken now. And this is about the time that uh, battle cruisers start to get into a TBT. But Firebat Hero, what are you going to do with these wraiths? This is going to be insane to see if he can actually make use of these damn things. He has a one single <laughs> wraith kind of trying to catch up. Hey guys, wait for me. But Bogus, yeah, both players still trying to take that middle, hotly contested middle with tank battles everywhere. Oh, this is going to be excellent. I think we're going to see a huge battle soon because Bogus is on the move, getting as close as he possibly can with those tanks coming in with Vultures too, trying to take uh, the most of the tank fire. So I think that Firebat Hero is in trouble. He can't let Bogus get too much closer. He's got to come in with his own Vultures, throw those Vultures in as kind of meat shields, and uh, use them to obviously get the mines around the big grouping of tanks. So Firebat Hero getting 
even closer with tanks coming out of nowhere, actually, from the 12 o'clock position, just kind of uh, repositioned those tanks, I think. He had them just at a defensive position higher up in the map. But Bogus has unseized every single one of his tanks, so is he actually going to try to attack Firebite Hero? Oh my god, no, just inching a little bit closer, trying to take out the tanks at the front, but that that could have been a very bad mistake, actually, from Bogus. He lost most of his tanks at the front, and that's going to hurt him quite a bit. But now Firebite Hero, oh man, it's hard to keep track of how many different tank battles are happening, and most of them in the middle, just like three or four different tank battles in the middle. Starports, extra starports coming up now for Bogus, which means that Bogus is going to transition into an air army, building Valkyries of his own. Are you kidding me? We're going to see Valkyrie versus Valkyrie. Ah, this is going to be excellent. But both players have really not committed to uh, m many other air troops. I'm looking around. We have some wraiths. I think I see one or two or three wraiths for Firebat Hero in that grouping. Mostly Valkyries, actually. But we're seeing, yeah, more wraiths being built for Bogus. He's building starports everywhere to get out a huge grouping of wraiths. Oh my god. This is going to be some epic, epic air battles. Oh, I'm excited just thinking about this. And Firebat Hero, what is he doing up here at the 2 o'clock position? He has SCVs everywhere, building more starports. Look at that. We're going to see a massive, massive air battle. This is going to be insane. Now I'm starting to realize why people were um, <laughs> recommending this game, because I have no doubt this is going to make for a really epic battle. Not to mention the amount of tanks that are still out in the middle. Oh my god, starports. Okay, guys, one million starports is not nearly enough. We need more. Come on. Firebat Hero, build another starport up there. Come on, do it for me, man. Just one more. One million and one, that's all I ask. I, and I don't demand much out of life. But starports coming up everywhere for the players. Valkyries, as many Valkyries as you can see. <laughs> Neither player committing yet. And yellow yeah, bogus. Starports. That's going to be the theme of this game, Starports. As uh, Firebat Hero has a very sizable grouping of tanks uh, closer to the bottom, to the 6 o'clock position. Oh, losing a bunch there, I think. Didn't see exactly how many tanks went down in that explosion. But Firebat Hero inching his way towards the main, getting closer and closer towards that main. So I have a feeling that Bogus is going to kind of let loose his grip of the very middle of the map, trying to get into a much more defensive position. Yeah, he's moving down actually with his tank army to get into a much more defensive position and uh, hold his bases as he's doing this tech switch, massive tech switch from both players at almost the same time. This is insane, but uh, Wraith's coming in, and now Bogus sees these Wraiths picking at his tank, so we're going to see, oh, the massive air battle. But Bogus scanning, seeing the amount of Valkyries has got to freak him out a little, because Bogus has Valkyries, but I don't think he has enough Valkyries to compete with Firebat Hero. Oh my god. So Firebat Hero is going to hold his own for the time being. Bogus, I think, is going to be too scared to... Uh, attack this unless it's with cloak rays trying to do little sneaky attacks like this uh, whittling down the tank line in the middle but Valkyries coming up for Firebat Hero trying to intercept these rays getting one good splash with the Valkyries but the big problem with Valkyries is when they're attacking they can't really move while they're attacking they're very awkward <laughs> Valkyrie attacks are extremely awkward but they have that splash and that splash will destroy a grouping of Valkyries Firebite Hero knows this, getting closer and closer to the main. Oh, then we see that gigantic air battle now. Cloaked Wraiths for Firebite Hero coming in with Valkyries on either side. And a massive Valkyrie battle now. Both players committing. But no, uh, Bogus is backing off. Seeing the amount of Valkyries has him spooked. And now he's trying to get a uh, fall back to his Goliaths for the defense. And if I were B Bogus, I would be building way more Goliaths at this point. Just all Goliaths to deal with those freaking Valkyries that Firebat Hero has amassed. Oh my god. So Firebat Hero still has a... Oh, Firebat Hero going for this inside base. Of course, he's going to need some vision to attack up the high ground area like that. But Bogus is finding uh, tanks all over the middle and sniping them everywhere. So uh, both players have to make a decision. They have to uh, commit to either uh, massive ground or massive air. <laughs> 
Oh man, we're gonna see another huge air battle of yeah. As I said, Firebite Heroes Valkyrie advantage is really rocking this game for him now. He's gonna kill all of these tanks, and I don't think that Bogus is gonna have much to say about it. No, Bogus can't even get close. Seeing the Valkyries, he's got to run away. That means all of these tanks up here going down, and now Bogus focusing in with his Goliaths, trying to fight back these Valk these no, <laughs> wraiths and Valkyries with the Goliaths, but not a big enough grouping of Goliaths. He's got to focus on all Goliath production. Don't even worry about tanks anymore. Obviously, Firebite Hero is going to continue tank production. But without Goliath, Bogus is not going to be able to hang on much longer, even though his economy is booming. He has bases everywhere. Bogus has amassed way more bases than Firebite Hero. Firebite Hero hasn't even taken the inside bases yet. But Firebite Hero getting closer and closer. Look at the ace, <laughs> the ace coach sitting there grinning. Yeah, because he knows that Firebat Hero is tightening the noose. Those Valkyries that he built earlier in the game are just paying off in spades for him. This is just working out so well. Red Bogus like a book. Look at those starports. <laughs> starports. Okay, somebody go back and count the amount of starports you just saw. And add them to Bogus' starports. We're going to get probably the most starports ever built in one game. But of course, that might have been Ruby versus Sky High. Ruby went for 20, was it 21 or 19? It was some ungodly number of starports, but it was just hilarious, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, oh my god, starports. <laughs> so, Bogus trying desperately to hang on to his inside expansions as Firebat Hero lunges forward with his ground army, which is actually weakening. He only has three, um, well, uh, little groupings of tanks. And Bogus working his way to the 6 o'clock position. The 6 o'clock might be in jeopardy now if Firebat Hero can't get down there with his troops. Because Bogus getting closer and closer to this expansion, the 6 o'clock position. And uh, Firebat Hero not even worrying about this, going for a counter attack up at the 10 o'clock position against Bogus. So we're going to see a little bit of base trading from these guys. Neither is willing to defend. They're both going for the attack. So I think we're going to see the 6 o'clock position go down, and Bogus is trying to get up there to that 10 o'clock with a grouping of Goliaths. If he can get up there with his grouping of Goliaths, he might be able to defend himself, but man, it's not looking good. Bogus is going to lose uh, several critical bases up at the 10 o'clock. Look at the amount of freaking uh, wraiths everywhere. Nothing but wraiths for the players now, and Bogus is going to try to get a nice sneak attack with these cloaked wraiths. Get in there before the Valkyries can react. Let's see if he can get this done, too. This is going to be extremely tricky to do, but he's moving in with Goliath at the same time just to act as kind of... Uh, so uh, meat shields there, but now we're going to see a huge sneak attack, sneak attack uh, from Bogus, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. The Valkyries not getting in there, not getting enough shots, and Bogus takes the battle. Most of the Valkyries going down, but another sneak attack, <laughs> counter sneak from Firebat Hero. Oh, this is absolutely insane. So uh, Bogus now taking the 6 o'clock position as Firebat Hero flying around. Uh, the cloaked Wraiths being spotted though, and Firebat Hero's Wraiths being limited. Both players committing to this gigantic attack scan everywhere. Wraiths everywhere. Who's going to take this attack? Goliaths coming in, and I think the Goliaths are going to seal this thing. Yeah, all Firebat Hero. But I think that Firebat Hero might have more starports. Might have more starports. I know that Bogus built an awful lot. But that is a gargantuan amount of starport for Firebat Hero amassed in one place. So I think he might have enough to outpump Bogus. Might, might, might is the main word. But Goliaths coming in now. Firebat Hero trying to retake the 6 o'clock position. Not even uh, using his brace to take that. He just has tanks down there uh, grinding down the 6 o'clock. This is just a battle for resources now as Bogus has a massive, massive ground army marching its way in. And Firebite Hero better pray that he has enough tanks to defend himself. Because if the tanks don't get this done, the Wraiths sure as hell are not going to get it done either. We see uh, the plus two attack for one of the players. I'm going to start looking at the upgrades now. Yeah, we have plus three attack, plus one armor for Firebite Hero. And hopefully the observers look at the other troops for Bogus here soon. Nope, still looking at Firebite Heroes troops as Bogus is working his way up with these Goliaths chasing away the tanks. Oh, things are not looking good for Firebite Hero now unless he has just wraiths clumped up, millions and millions of wraiths clumped up to do this. Because wraiths can take down Goliaths, but if you have enough, 
and I don't think this is going to be enough. That's a lot of wraiths, but it's not going to be enough to take down these Goliaths. So Firebat Hero's got to go for the base trade. He's got to take down some of Bogus's most important bases. Otherwise, I don't know if he's going to be able to do the oh, massive tank splash on these Goliaths, though. But Goliaths, Goliaths coming from the back and nearly endless supply of them. So, okay, Firebat Hero, he is sneaking his way in with cloaked wraiths, trying to get something done with them. Hanging around his turrets for now. Starport's being floated over. <laughs> what is Firebat Hero doing with these starports? Just floating the starports over to protect them, I think. To protect these... Uh, starports and keep them in one area he might be trying to force a draw actually or at least uh, go for the elimination race no I don't think Firebat Hero has enough troops to go for an elimination race so he might be trying to force the draw which could happen I didn't think about that at, f at first but we might actually see a draw in this game it's gonna be ridiculous either way Ah, oh, this has been most, one of the most ridiculous TVTs I've ever seen. As Firebat Heroes tanks trying to fall back desperately to the turrets, but only one turret at this location. He's going to lose every single one of these tanks inside of the main. And I think that Bogus might have just clinched this thing by taking down all of those tanks. Look at that. Tanks gone. Bye, tanks. Nice knowing you. Oh, the, all the uh, stuff at the 2 o'clock position being taken down as well. And Firebat Hero is trying to establish his last line of defense, the Alamo, up at the 12 o'clock position. That is what he's going to try to use to force the draw <laughs> with his uh, wraiths up there as well. It's going to be hard to hold that, honestly. With these Goliaths, uh, the wraiths will be rendered pretty much useless, which means he won't ha really have a defense at the top. But no, the wraiths sneak attack from Firebat Hero there, coming in with the Cloak Brace. Didn't take down a lot, though. He could have taken down a lot there, but he didn't manage to get it done. Now trying to tackle the turrets in the middle for some reason, he's got to hang on to every single wraith he can get at this point in the game. Honestly, but no, the Wraith's running into Goliath now, and Firebat here is actually picking off all the Goliaths he can find. And uh, let's see if Bogus can keep up the production. Bogus obviously still has mining going, but I don't think that Firebat Hero does. Uh, Firebat Hero is mining at the 12 o'clock, but is he mining anywhere else? I don't know. He's might be barely mining at the 2 o'clock, because I didn't see any SCVs up there earlier, but he might have pumped some. I'm trying to jump dart his economy that way, but now Firebat Hero is completely on the defense. Desperately trying to defend all of his buildings, keep from being eliminated, basically. So, uh, okay, back to the first person perspective, looking a lot different than earlier in the game, as both players kind of moving sort of slow, as they're both trying to figure out what the hell to do from this point on in the game. Neither player really can commit to taking those inside bases. Bogus has one of them, but we're not going to see a lot more activity in the middle because those bases are just too easily harassed. It's going to be too easy to take those down with the air army that's out there. And now I'm kind of seeing why both players went for air because those bases are so easy to harass with wraiths. Uh, that's a good way to keep your opponent from taking extra bases. Just keep on those wraiths. Look <laughs> at starports. Starports. Gotta love starports. Up at the 12 o'clock position in Firebite Hero, you're seeing his first person now, uh, sniping everything he can. Just those little victories are what get you back in the game. If you can, get those little victories. So he's trying to snipe unit after unit and establish his Alamo at the uh, 12 o'clock position. But Bogus, looking at his first person too, still has quite a few troops out, including tanks, which could... Uh, oh my god, Firebat Hero is going for a big attack. He's going for a full attack, I think. Oh, is he going to commit to this? If he commits to this attack, which he might... Oh my god, this is a massive attack from Firebat Hero. He's got to get rid of those wraiths, though. The wraiths have, go down, have to go down for Bogus. Uh, Firebat Hero falling back a little bit. But Firebat Hero has quite a few Goliaths of his own, and he saves all of the tanks. Saves all of his tanks. And now he's going to go s straight for the 10 o'clock position. Look at that snarl from Firebat Hero, like, yeah, punk. Make my day. None of the starports for Bogus are mining, are pumping now, rather, and Bogus is running very low on mining. Firebat Hero trying to go for the kill. 
taking out extra bases up here, and, and Bogus can't get close to the Goliath. <laughs> oh, talk about a back and forth game. But now Firebat Hero going to take out everything at the 10 o'clock, including these starports, if they're not lifted up and uh, taken away somewhere. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Firebat Hero was not even pumping any more race. He floated all of his starports over and committed completely to his ground army, and it might actually work out. Oh my god. Oh, wow. So Firebat Hero taking down the 10 o'clock. Is Bogus going to have anything to say about this? I'm looking at Bogus's army, and it's almost nothing. It's like he ran out of mining. He couldn't take any more bases because of the middle. Obviously, it's very hard to defend that. Uh, but this is going to come down to... A very big battle in the middle of the map. This is ridiculous, actually, because Bogus is trying to uh, go down here with a few of his troops, get in here, wedge himself in with these siege tanks, get within range of these uh, uh, production buildings, which are still pumping for Firebat Hero. All of them are still pumping. Goliaths, and extra Goliaths coming in, getting kind of a pincer attack on Bogus. Bogus running very low on his troops, as Firebat Hero has amassed enough to tackle the main and this is going to be Firebat freaking Hero's game. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Firebat Hero, gotta watch out though. Save all of his troops. Of course his Goliaths are the most important part now. He has a huge grouping of Goliaths and that is going to be his game. That is going to be the way he's going to win this game. Look at that. GG from freaking Bogus. Wow. Okay. <laughs> You guys weren't lying. That was epic. Oh, okay. I won't retire, I guess. But that is just awesome. That was a nice, nice TVT. Nice foresight from Firebat Hero to build all those Valkyries earlier in the game. That won the game for him. That won the game for him. Amazing, amazing game. I'm very weird to see Firebat Hero uh, high five much there, but whatever. <laughs> oh, this has been Nuke. That was a lot of fun. Way more fun than I was expecting. And I will be back soon with another commentary once I get my voice back, recover, return to consciousness. No, oh, anyway, it's been Nuke. Uh, another thank you to our sponsor, Cadbury Cream Eggs. See you guys later.